What's cracking, fam? T Money down in the dungeon Tuesday night here to bring you guys a collection update. I have a couple packages from Diabolic DVD that I'm going to unbox for you, and also a stack of flicks that I got in over the last week or so. So uh, go grab yourself a drink, do whatever you need to do. It's going to be a long update. So let's do this. Um, also, I wanted to mention briefly I'm coming up on 700 subscribers, so I will be doing a 700 subscriber contest giveaway. Uh, where you can win some really cool stuff, including a brand new Scream Factory Collector's Edition release with a poster, alternate slipcover, and all that. So you may know uh, what title that is that I'm referring to. You may not, but it'll be a surprise. Uh, so stay tuned for my next video. I'll probably do, like I did last time, maybe do a video where I have you guys give me some ideas of what would be a fun contest, maybe some fun questions to ask for a contest or something like that. So really appreciate the help, and it was fun last time I did that. So it's been a minute. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a contest. Uh, it's been a long time since I've come from 600, I think, to, to 700. So it's been about a year. Um, but we're finally there. We're almost there. I'm like three subs away, so... Uh, sooner you guys can get me there, sooner we can do this contest, and uh, I'm excited. I want to give something back because it's been a long time, um, and I've been doing a, a whole hell of a lot of buying all the while. So, all right, so let's get into the update. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff here: Diabolic DVD, Grindhouse Video, Amazon, 88 Films, uh, new releases, all kinds of cool stuff. So, uh, without further ado, I don't know why I say that. Everybody says that, and it's sketchy. Um, it's just so easy to segue into the next segment uh, by saying that. So, first off, we got uh, Tokyo Shock, a couple releases from them. Always awesome when they uh, put out stuff because it doesn't happen very often these days. But uh, first up, we have Machine Girl. That shit crazy um, kind of action horror movie about a girl and her brother. Her brother's killed. She takes revenge on a bunch of Yakuza uh, gangsters, and she is armed with i think a machine gun for a hand and just some badassness so awesome asian craziness and then we have this one lust of the dead the trash terror trilogy don't know much about this one either but a bunch of asian chicks uh looks like a zombie uh uh what do you call it a, a zombie dump uh a zombie uh graveyard dump yard what do they call those things that i'm totally just drawing a basic blank on anyways bunch of girls standing on a bunch of dead zombies uh it's a it's a in all seriousness i think it's a zombie virus outbreak and then these girls have to kind of uh hold down the fort and uh save the day so don't know much about them but it's a trilogy so that's really cool it's a two disc set then i grabbed this from um a couple titles from jesse over at diabolic these are spanish horror movies uh even the wind is afraid and the skeleton of Miss Morales. I've never seen either one of these movies, but they both sound really good. Um, yeah, uh, kind of like ghost, supernatural, um, whodunit, I guess, stock and slash aspects, all that goodness, um, kind of mystery, thrillers, everything rolled into one. But um, I'm really excited to check out actually both of these movies. Um, they just both sound really good. 60s and, yeah, they're both 60s. 1968 and 1968. So, awesome. VCI putting out some unique stuff there. That's great. Then we have this one, Kingdom of the Spiders. Uh, don't really know much about this release. It's a great movie, obviously, William Shatner. Um, it's really kind of confusing. I had first purchased this because... They have the German titles, uh, and it was Creature Feature Line from uh, Cook Films. I'm a sucker for all the, you know, numbered editions, limited stuff like that. Uh, so, but they're all German titles. So every single, like, in this line, there's, like, Piranha, Roger Corman's Piranhas. I think, um, um, what else? Uh, obviously, this, <laughs> um... Kingdom of the Spiders, Piranha, among among others. I think the the pe the land that people forgot, or the pe the land that something like that, and then uh, a couple other ones. But they're all Emperor of the Ants. I think is another one. The whole creature feature line. No idea when these came out. Actually, matter of fact, I should just check the back. Huh? Looks like nineteen uh, two thousand nineteen. So this is a brand new Cook Films line. No wonder why it hasn't been around for a while. Nice slipcover. 
But most of these titles I honestly have U.S. releases of, so it's kind of like, did I need them? Do I need them? Uh, and a few of them are out of print, so they go for top dollar. I'm not. There's no way I can afford uh, that, but. Pretty cool anyways. Uh, next up we have one from Massacre Video. This just sounds batshit crazy. Um, supernatural virus fills its victims with squirming, slithering things that burst and ooze from the mouths of the flesh, all the while a witch offers equally grisly and unsetting cures. Hitting you like a brick in the face, the simple story of a con man with eyes on a family's hotel business becomes a horrifying fever dream of ghosts and gore. So, craziness. Uh, from... Massacre video, that's awesome. Then we have this one, Secret Santa. Very misleading. When I first saw this, I thought for sure it was going to be some sort of slasher movie uh, set in like a college dorm or something during the winter, which would be awesome. But actually, it's slightly different. Um, a mysterious guest doses uh, a pharmaceutical family with this, I don't know what it is, radioactive chemical or something like that, turning them all into crazy, uh, I don't know if they're zombies or what, but virus... Zom rage zombie something like that and uh some survive a group of people have to basically make it through the night so that's secret santa kind of crazy uh not what i expected at all from that one then we have dr sleep this came out today actually didn't see this in theaters but stoked to see it i'm a big fan of the shining and i've heard good things uh brand new release from 88 films we have paranoia awesome never seen this movie i think it's a giallo from the late 60s or early 70s not 100 percent sure on that but uh Basically deals with like a woman and her husband and then another woman gets introduced into the fold and the woman wants her to help her kill her husband. So it's this whole like conspiracy thing, but it's not all what it seems like all giallos. Uh, so I'm sure we have some sort of mystery killer among the whole um, shit show. But anyways, that's awesome. Carol Baker, Jean Sorrell, Paranoia, nice slipcover. Uh, it's an Italian classics line. I'm not going to open it up because I have the cellophane wrap on and it was a bitch to get the cellophane wrap on that one um so this one actually is from i ordered this from grindhouse video tampa dreaming purple neon i think it's a todd cheats film didn't see it but i heard really good things i've heard it's a lot better than cloud nato i think this is the movie he directed before cloud nato i'm not 100 percent sure but limited release you know just i don't know it's definitely like uh it almost reminds me of a warlock video release but it's not um it says, too gory for the silver screen. So, yeah, uh, Mike from Grindhouse Video had a few of these for sale on his site. Actually, just one. Really expensive, but uh, I missed it, so I wanted to get it. What can I say? All right. Uh, now we have a film that I've heard really, really good things about. Parasite. Sounds batshit crazy. I'm sure most of you guys know about it, but it's supposedly really good, so I'm excited to check that one out. Um, and then I got this really cool box set thing. It's like... Uh, Cape Light Video, I had one other release like this. I have a few, but from Cape Light Video, they put out um, uh, a, a more uh, Black Christmas known as Jesse. I showed that off in another update with the alternate title, Jesse. But uh, Fire and Ice, great movie, uh, put out by Blue Underground previously on Blu-ray. This is one of those like retro, um, it's an animated film also, but it's really cool. Uh, retro VHS style Blu-ray, so it's got the slip box, the magnetic fold and all that. It's really cool. Uh, so sweet release just got that for collector purposes um next up we have of course the great uh my bloody valentine finally gets a really nice release i noticed on the back of this though there's not much in the way of special features other than a new 4k scan of the film uh both the uncut and original so uh the theatrical so that's awesome i think that's the big thing about this release is you get the uncut version which i don't think is on like any of the other um uh, maybe one or two really rare uh, My Bloody Valentine releases from way back in the day. But having those is the big thing on this one. It says and more, so don't quote me on that. There could very well be some special features. But usually, when they get some good interviews, they put them right on the back. They don't just listen to that and more. And more would be more likely to be like your TV spots and stuff like that. But really nice release. Uh, two covers. Um, and T-Money two times strikes again. So uh, really awesome. So, my bloody Valentine. Really cool. All right, uh, let's see. Then I grabbed this uh, classic Stephen King adaptation, Needful Things. I love this movie. Kino Lorber put it out on Blu-ray like two years ago, I think. But I had to grab this media book because it's a film that I enjoy that much. Love the vibe. The just this is like it, it encompasses the Stephen King. Um, 
world, I guess, for lack of a better word, so well. I love this movie. So, Needful Things, great performance by um, um, Ed Harris, of course. So, that's awesome. And then I got a bunch of these, like, hard box things from Jesse over at Diabolic DVD. Uh, it's basically a combination of modern gore fests and some older films as well. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys the stack of them. But they're DVDs and they're like hard boxes. So uh, pretty cool. The only movie I'm really familiar with is Lucker the Necrophagus and uh, Cold Ground. Cold Ground is a Swiss movie that was put out by Blue uh, by Wild Eye not too long ago. I love that cover artwork. I have actually yet to see the movie, but it sounds pretty good and interesting. Um, but yeah, I really dug the cover artworks on all these releases. It's kind of what initially drew me in. Uh, pretty cool Hanya there. Uh, what do we have? The House of Blue Shadows. If you guys have seen any of these, feel free to let me know. Uh, late night double feature. I get the impression that some of them are really low budget indie efforts. Then we have this one from 1986. Just a brutal um, uh, serial killer flick. Uh, Blood Hunt. This one sounded pretty cool as well. Um, Ideala. And House of Flesh Mannequins. So, yeah, all of the stuff, too, is in English, so that's awesome. And they're all limited either to 100 or 500, I believe. And um, they've got the holographic, like, um, certificate of authenticity or whatever on the back there. So that's really cool. Um, so those are those. They're put out by a company called Tetro Video, I believe. Um, Tetro Video, yeah, so that's cool. All right, uh, so we got a couple packages from Jesse over at Diabolic. Let's get into these very quickly, and then I'm going to call it a night, guys. I'm kind of tired. Um, so, box number one. It's actually been sitting around for a few days now because I haven't had time to do it. All right, so we got a nice stack of flicks here. If I can get them out. Ching. All right, so first up we have the Cyborgs. Uh, I don't even know what this is, really. It's uh, not rated. That's awesome. Um, 2019, step aside, RCMP Canada's new favorite Crime Stoppers are here. They are the Cyborgs, a team of superheroes with some serious psychic powers who protect the city of Champion Poles uh, from the nephrous General Blight and his evil toxin thugs. Awesome. When It's 2019, so this is like a throwback exploitation action flick, goofy, uh, maybe a little bit of a cop, buddy cop type film. I'm not sure, but that's awesome. Uh, this came out from Scream Team releasing, so that's super cool. I didn't know that. I love Scream Team, so... Okay, I think I've been hearing a lot about this movie, um, and I really want to see it. I know uh, Horace Ball had raved about it uh, during his show. If this is the same movie, uh, but it's a movie by the name of Headhunter, not to be confused with the Headhunter that uh, Code Red released a while back, but uh, just looks really good. Um, yeah, it just looks like like Nordic like. Uh, like I see masks and skulls and really cool outdoor shots here. So um, it's all in German, so I don't really have much to go by. But uh, brilliant fantasy. So yeah, it's a fantasy horror movie by the name of Headhunter. If anybody's heard of this one, let me know your thoughts, please. Then we have uh, Major Joe Charlton Heston. So I just grabbed some really cool like Western adventure flicks from Cook Media. Very nice release there. Um, I had to grab this. So nice. Then I grabbed the Near Dark media book as well. Love this movie. Who doesn't love Near Dark? Um, wow, I got number 107 out of 500. Classic Catherine Bigelow flick. Great. One of the best vampire flicks of all time. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, two on a guillotine. Really psyched for this one as well. This is from 1964. Uh, listen to this synopsis. 20 years ago, a little accident with a guillotine trick left magician Duke Duke Duquesne's wife on stage assistant without a head and their baby daughter Cassie without a mother. Now the great Duquesne 
may however sorry duquesne i don't know what that is uh, may have another trick up, her, up his sleeve he dies leaving cassie a sizable inheritance if she spends seven nights in his spooky mansion with a fearless young reporter by her side cassie braves terrors that could be the work of evil spirits or are they illusions dreamed up by cassie's dear demented dad awesome sounds so good to me it sounds like house on haunted hill 1964 two on a guillotine wouldn't you like to learn how to flip your lid? If you're chopping for entertainment, here's the super shocker of them all. Chopping for entertainment, huh? Interesting. So super stoked on that one. Um, wow. Fucking, I love Jesse so, so much. Um, he's amazing. I love Jesse. I'll explain to you guys why in a second, but uh, The Light at the Edge of the World. This is a new one from Kino. It's not a new film, but it's a new release. 1971. Some sort of action-adventure classic. Love these kind of films. Kirk Douglas, Yul Brynner, Samantha Egger. Amazing cast. So awesome. Love me, Samantha Egger. So he writes, I sent you the slip version instead because I ordered Edge of the Axe. I love him. I just, you know, I, I fucking love you, Jesse. Thank you. Um, so super cool. Thank you. Awesome. Can't wait to watch that movie. And then, uh, the day of the dolphin, George C. Scott had to grab this one as well. Really, really, really cool. So, uh, brand new 4k restoration. All right. So let's get into the last box here from Jesse. Man, that's why he is like, that's why he is so good. So good to me. Nobody else is like that. Granted, I do spend a lot of money, but still, it's just he doesn't have to do that kind of stuff, and it's really awesome. That that slipcover is worth a lot of money. Um, all right, let's see. Not that I'm going to sell it, but it's just really nice of him. All right, so Uncut Director's Edition. We, a new one from Art Exploitation. Uh, during one hot summer, a group of suburban teens hang out and play increasingly depraved games. Uh, to break the listless monotony. Their descent from innocence to ruthless predators involve arson, prostitution, pornography, assault, and blackmail. This controversial and explicit coming-of-age tale is imbued with sex, nihilism, and amorality, and is reminiscent of the films of Harmon Korine, Larry Clark, and Lars von Trier. This is a new film, too. 2018. Awesome. So, awesome. Sounds great. Sounds different and unique. Then we have Rabid, which I'm really excited to check out. Uh, this is I love the original Rabid. Uh, probably my probably my favorite Cronenberg film. I've mentioned uh, multiple times my connection to that movie uh, from Florida way back in the day. But such a good movie. Uh, really excited to check this one out though. Soska Sisters, they're pretty hit and miss, but um, I'm I'm down. If anybody uh, you know could do that, I think they could do it. And then I've heard really really good things about this, The Nightingale. Uh, from Jennifer Kent, acclaimed writer-director of The Babadook, comes a stunning meditation on, on the consequences of violence and the price of seeking vengeance. Set during the colonization of Australia in 1825, the film follows Claire, a 20-year-old Irish convict. Having served her seven-year sentence, she's desperate to be free of her abusive master, Lieutenant Hawkins, who refuses to release her from his charge. Claire's husband retaliates and becomes the victim of a harrowing crime at the hands of the lieutenant. When British authorities fail to deliver justice, Claire decides to pursue Hawkins, who leaves his post suddenly to secure a captaincy up north. Claire's forced to enlist the help of young Aboriginal tracker Billy, who grudgingly takes her through the rugged wilderness. The terrain and the prevailing hostilities are frightening, but as their journey leads them deeper into the wilderness, Claire and Billy must learn to find empathy for one another while weighing tr the true cost of revenge. So that sounds excellent. Um, what can I say? It sounds really good. This is actually a Shout Factory release uh, in conjunction with IFC. Yeah, it doesn't really sound like horror, but that's awesome. The Nightingale. And what else? One more title. Banger. Uh, Night Tide, Dennis Hopper. Never seen this movie. Really, really stoked to check this out. Uh, limited edition release from the great and powerful Powerhouse, a.k.a. Indicator. Uh, 21, 2361 to 3000, Night Tide. Uh, limited edition, two times Blu-ray special features. 
Uh, was she human or was she a beautiful temptress from the sea, intent upon living, loving, consuming, and killing? Um, Nicholas Winding Refn. Cool. Um, I don't know when this movie is from. It's written and directed from Charles Harrington. Curtis Harrington's critically acclaimed 61 fantasy thriller inspired by the writing of Edgar Allan Poe and starring Dennis Hopper in his first lead role presented in an individually numbered two-disc Blu-ray set. Awesome. 80-page book. Wow. So, this is great. So, and it's all region. So, if you like Indicator, if you want Indicator titles, just so you guys know, if you don't already, they're all, all region for the most part, I believe. So, you can get them uh, and watch them in your players and you don't have to worry about that. So, all right, guys, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, reading those synopsis kills me. And I, if, it, if it annoys you, just let me know. I don't have to do that. I just don't know all the movies, so it's easier for me um, and more accurate, I guess, for me to just read it rather than guess or try and remember what uh, I, you know, the trailer or the synopsis that I read. So I have a horrible memory. But anyways, guys, thanks for joining me on this Tuesday night. You have a spadoinkle evening, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace out. Love you guys.